chicas! Welcome to Coding for Chicks! I got a suggestion from one of my amazing viewers about creating a loan calculator, which is what I'm going to do for you today. I've written the instructing comments and now the only thing we need to do is fill in the blanks. The first thing I want to do is open the file for writing and I'm going to use D my file. I'm using D now instead of F because F is used for float and D is then for database, in this case the file. And then just as usually we're going to do open and the name of the file which is going to be loan calculations in our case. And then I want to be doing writing so I'm going to use a W. There we go. If you forget to create the file on forehand, don't worry. Python is going to create it for you. It's going to be located in the same folder as your Python file. This loans.py, which is located in my Python code loans in my case. And now for the next part. So I'm going to be collecting information about the loan from the user. But first I want to add a comment with the information I want to collect. And that's going to be the loan amount, the annual interest rate, and finally, I want to collect the length of loan in months. The first thing I want to get is an integer for the loan amount. And it's an integer because it's going to be a whole number. It's not going to be some cents. And because I'm doing raw input, I have to be careful to put my integer first so I don't get string. So raw input, and I'm going to say, what is the loan amount? And the second parenthesis here. I want to show you a small debugging feature. If you look closely, you can see my two parentheses right here are green, while the other are black. The reason for this is that Python thinks these are also text, not only the text here before. And this is because some of us forgot to put the other quotation mark right here. We have to be careful every time we write our code because small things like this can really matter. But the good thing is that if you know how to read the debugging, you can quickly find a solution to the problem. And now for our second variable. So I'm going to do F interest with a small n interest rate. And the reason for that being float is my interest rate is going to be zero point something. And then I do float and draw input. Oops. And what is the annual interest rate? Where I come from, we always talk about an annual interest rate. So I'm just going to do that right here as well. And then the third one, which is going to be i, an integer, loan time. This is going to be the loan time in months. So we're going to use an integer. And int raw input. And how long will you have the loan for in months? There we go. The next thing we want to do is calculate our monthly payment and monthly interest. And I'm going to do this in two different variables. The first one being f for float, monthly interest. And here I'm going to use the loan amount and the interest rate. So it's going to be i loan amount times the f interest rate and then divided by the amount of months in the year, which is 12, because I want to get the monthly interest rate, not just the yearly one. And now for the second one, it's going to be a float as well, and it's going to be a monthly payment. And here we're going to take the loan amount and we're going to divide it by the time. So we're just going to find out how much you're paying each month. So I'm doing I loan amount divided by I loan time. Okay, now we have overview over your loan amount, interest and the loan time. Here I'm talking about the top of your file. I want there to be information about what you inputted, so it's easier for the user to see how all the calculations were done. Firstly, I'm just going to start with my file, my file, and I'm going to write to it. And what I'm going to write is, you started with a loan amount of, and then I need to put str for string, 
because my alone amount is an integer and I can't concat integers and strings like you know. So I alone amount and I'm then converting this integer to string. Okay, all is fair and dandy. And then I need a slash and n. Now this is probably a backslash, yeah. This is for new line because I want this information to be printed out and then the next thing that comes in is going to be in a new line. And then for the next piece of information, we start the same way. And I'm writing, you have an interest rate off. And now for the hard part. Now we're going to be inputting 0 0.05 in our calculator. But I don't want to show that number in the loan overview. I want to show the 5%. So I needed to take this one and multiply it by 100. And this works the same way whether you have 0 0.05, 0 0.25 or 0 0.5. So don't think about it too much. This just works. And now back to it. So str and f interest rate multiplied by 100, like we talked about. And now I want to put the percentage sign right here because I want it included. And then new line again, and we're done. And for our final output, I'm going to write, you have a loan time of and then I'm just going to take the loan time. It's in month, so it's all good. And I'd really like a new line. But here, I'm going to do two new lines because I want a little bit of, of a space between this information and the one that comes after. And then you just multiply by two or three if you want three or four if you want four. Ooh. And now for the heading for the loan payments. And I take my file, my file. And I'm going to be writing to it, but now I'm going to split up the information. So first I take the number of the payment and then I'm going to use a tab, which is a longer space. And it's just going to be T for tab. And then I want the payment this month. So the amount of payment I'm paying this month. Payment this month. And then another tab to just split up the information. It looks better this way. And then loan amount left. And finally, a new line. A new line. Very good. Okay, I think it's about time we test this bad boy. But first, we need to go down here to close file after writing and write D my file close. And then just F5. So loan amount 50,000. Interest rate. 0 0.05 and 24, let's say two years. And now we take a look at the file. Here we have the 50,000 I inputted, the 5% interest rate, the 24 months. This is all looking very good. And I like the setup. We have this space in between that I talked about and the tabs right here. So yep, this is very good. Let's continue. It appears the only thing we have left is input the calculations for each month. So now let's think about this. So we're going to be doing something that's going to be the same thing over and over again. Doesn't that indicate we're going to be using a loop? Yes, it does. Now I'm going to be picking a for loop. You can do this as you want, but I like the for loops in this. So for i in range, and I don't want to do zero here because I want the first number of payment to be one. So I want to do one. And then I'm going to use the loan time. So I loan time, but be careful. We need to do plus one because we're starting at one here. So here we go. And the column. Yes, very good. What I need to consider right now is what is the information I want in my table? And I can see up here, I've already made the headers. So I know the first thing is the number. And this I get from the I right here. Then I need the payment this month. And then I just need to add the monthly payment and the monthly interest. And there I have that. Now the only thing left is loan amount left. And I just know the whole loan amount. So I need to withdraw the payment I am paying every month each time I run the loop. So I will know how much is left of the loan. Okay, we're ready to do this. Let's go. Now let's start with the easy thing. And I'm going to name my variable F current payment. And I'm going to put in there the monthly interest plus the monthly payment. So let's do that. 
F monthly interest plus F monthly payment. Now, one thing to consider here is float generally has many, 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 many decimal points. So I'm going to do a little bit of magic to make those go away down to only two. I'm going to start by putting parentheses around my amount and one over here as well. I probably said parentheses before and I'm really sorry about the bad pronunciation. My boyfriend is going to get so mad when he cuts my video. But yeah, I'll try to work on that. And now for some magic. So I start by two quotation marks, the percentage sign, point 0.2, then F. And then I put my percentage sign in front of my float number that is going to be affected by the magical thing inside the quotation marks. In plain English, everything that's within the parenthesis, parenthesis, yeah, uh, that is the number which is going to be affected by this magical thing right here because we put the percentage sign before all of it. If we had put it in here, let's just move it in here, then only this guy is affected by this. But we want all of them to be affected because we want the 0 0.2 or like two decimal points to be for everything we're using right here. And the next one, now we need the loan amount. So I start by putting loan amount because I'm just gonna be changing this guy here. It's going to be start by being, for example, 50,000 like before, but then I want to deduct the monthly payment. So I'm going to do minus equals F monthly payment. And now each time I run the loop, I'm going to be deducting the monthly payment. And finally, for the output, we need to get our file, be my file, and we're going to write, yes, we are. And then I'm going to collect my things. The first thing I want to get is the i, and I need to convert it to a string because the range is going to be giving me an integer. And then I need one tab. Where I come from, tab is actually a soda. It's like sort of a Coca-Cola kind of a thing. And then I'm going to get the current payment from here. And that's also going to be a string because I'm getting a float. So F current payment, not payment. Payment, and then some tabbing. But here I would like three tabs because I've actually done this before and run it out and I see that three tabs makes it look better. So let's do that, three tabs. And then finally, the loan amount from here. So I'm gonna do str as well, I loan amount. And now I need the new line. New line and voila. Here we are. I believe we're ready for some running. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. So 50,000, 0 0.05 and 24. Oh, isn't that pretty? We can see each number for the payments. We can see the payment each month. We can see the amount we have left of the loan. <gasps> this is so nice. Oops, what is this? Hmm, what does this mean? I would like to give you the assignment to fix this. Woo! The reason for it is that we are rounding in the payments and in each payment, we are not paying the full amount that we should. And that means over time, we'll end up with the eight down here. So you can fix it by either paying more in each payment and then end up maybe paying a little less, or you can just add this number to this number and then you will end up getting zero down here. So any way you want to do it, just try and have some fun. I also have another assignment for you. As you can see, I'm not using any functions here for my code, but you know how to use functions. So I want you to take my code and put it into functions. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. That's all I have for you today. If you liked my video, please leave me a like. I love reading your comments, so feel free to write anything below. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so, because then you know when my next video is out. Thank you for listening. This is Coding for Chicks.